I went to Tanzania. Tanzanian people, this lady is the elder sister of Kam. Elder sister of Mamufund is there. So, how did you see Tanzania people crusade? Oh, wow, it was very humbling. I saw the power of God in an amazing way. And already people are testifying oh, of what he is. Can you hear that? We went to Tanzania, the hall was full. There were people also outside there. They are already they are testifying. Yes, they are. I also saw something that was very touching to me. Uh, that day, when you, the first day, there was this girl, she, it's a lady. She was, I don't know if I should say the religion, but it's one of those difficult religions that if you go out, you get killed. But she came that day. I don't know what she saw, but she saw the power of God because she came for what she was wearing glasses so she wouldn't be recognized because, you know, the cameras were there. But she came forward and gave her life to God. And to me, that was God opening a door to that religion in Tanzania that they will receive salvation. There are people who come from that religion and become Christians. And generations will change. So it was mighty power of God there. Yes, it was. Something that has never happened to Tanzania. Huh? No, it has never happened. The first day on crusade, I've never seen what I saw. That's what she said. I was still talking. Holy Spirit came, boom! The whole hall was mixed up from there. Because I knew what was happening. There's something we did on the last day, when we had pastor's meeting, it was very good. God is really with us. But we thank God for your prayers. God bless you. And uh, today, I have pastors of Mozambique. They are here. Come, pastors. Yeah. These people. Welcome. God bless you. I know all of you. This one is my son of Charis. These other ones are my sons. This one, come here. This one, uh, this one is, is our pastor in Mozambique of Charis Missionary Church. I know all of you. I know all of you. You people are my sons. This may come. <laughs> this man, he always visits me. This man, this man, all the time, always visits me. God bless you. This one, come. I was speaking with him. This man is the one that I sent Prophet Sandile to him. I sent Prophet Sandile to his church this man. So I spoke with him. I want to come to Mozambique. And from there, I said, I need to help pastors. So he was organizing. I said, no. I don't want to come to your church. I'm going there for pastors. We pray for them to help other people of God there. So that's why they came. So, remember there were two on Sunday. So these people, they came. They want to talk with me. I denied to speak with him on the issue of me visiting and go to one church. It's long. I, God told me many years ago, I must not go to any Buddhist church. If I'm going there, I'm going to reach out. To reach out, because... You pastors here, you have problems. You are fighting each other. And I was supposed to have gone to Mozambique. But God told me that you need pastors who are united. If I, these pastors want me to use them, they must unite. Not one pastor. They must unite. I thank God you are like this. 
build this unity. Because another one will need another. Mozambique is a country. It's a Portuguese is also spoken in Brazil. We need to go to raise you people. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. So I thank God you are here. We'll talk. I'll come to Mozambique. If I wanted to come, I was supposed to come to my son's church. If I wanted to come to do crusade, I'll go to Charis in Mozambique. I'll just go to Charis Mozambique without telling you. But I decided to say, let me go uh, when I'm hearing what God was telling me. Help my people. There are people I want to use. So I'm sending you to Mozambique. So I spoke. When he speak, I say, let me send my son. I kept quiet. I withdraw. So I'm coming to Mozambique. Thank you. God bless you. You see that? I was with Tanzanian pastors. These are Mozambique pastors. I was with American pastors. So you people here, what does it tell you? It tells you that you must pray for me. Amen. You understand what I'm trying to say? It tells me that, oh, let's pray for this man. Because without your prayers, these people here, there are many people who need what God has given me. There will be another one. If you pray, you can be the one who will be responsible tomorrow. But if you don't pray, you just see people like this, like this, ah, this man, this man, this man. He, what he's telling you is you must pray. You must pray. You say, oh, okay, this man is invited by the pastors. I wanted to go for crusade there. If pastors can come together and invite this man. Okay, okay, let's pray for this man. Amen. You, you need to pray. You need to pray so that God will raise someone more better. What is important is, I'm not better. So when you pray, go raise someone better. Just like the, you pray, God raise the best. We need servants of God who are the best. That God will use. Let me touch you here. Let me touch you there. Bring him to me. Lift him up. Lift him up. You know I'm praying for you several times. No man of God. You don't know. Because I saw your family. The demon that fight marriages. Yes, sir. It's fighting you. It's true. You it's true. That. It's Come true. On. Come on. Because you have been praying against this case. They say you are breaking it. Amen. So today we are breaking it. Amen. So you are free. You are free. My name is Apostle Jerson Darakubi from Mozambique in Maputo City. Yes, the man of God located me prophetically during the service today. He spoke about the issue of marriage in my family. There is a, a spirit that fights marriages in my family, and that spirit was attacking my marriage. I confirm that, pro that prophecy to be true because it's what happened in my life. We have face facing challenges in my marriage. And uh, in my cousins, uh, my brothers, there is no stability in, my, in, in the marriage. And uh, that spirit was fighting also my, my, my marriage. And the man of God just came straight and located me in the issue that was troubling my life. And uh, through the prophecy, I believe that uh, I got my breakthrough, I got my, my deliverance, I got my, my, my blessing, and uh, I was so amazed. How can a man of God know issues that are happening in my family? While he is not a part of a family, he has never been Mozambique, has never been Maput, has never, he doesn't know me because it's a first time to meet the man of God face to face. I never met him, and he just came straight to locate the issue that was troubling my life, that was troubling the life of my family. And I do believe that this prophecy brought deliverance, not only for me, for my brothers, for my cousins, and we are totally free, I believe. Um, in a, 
you know, in our marriage there was no, sometimes there was no peace. We could uh, quarrel and uh, fighting and uh, sometimes there is no understanding. Sometimes there is no affection and, um, I, and I saw that this was an attack of the enemy. I, it was, I have moved, I'm a man of God, I'm a pastor and sometimes I was sharing with other pastors, my brother, you know, I'm facing some challenge in my marriage, please help me in prayers and uh, so uh, it was affecting me in that way but I believe that the Lord has located me for a purpose of delivering my marriage and bringing a peace and a stability in my marriage. Amen. Amen. I'm praying for pastors of Mozambique. Uh, go, go, go. Rise up. Come on. Lift up. Brother, you know I'm praying for you. Okay. You know I'm praying for you. Okay. Eh? Yes. Yes. You must look around. Look around. You break the spirit. Yes. Devish quebrar esse spirit. Devish quebrar esse spirit. Devish quebrar esse spirit. It's the spirit of your father that is following you. O spirit da parte do seu pai que está a seguir. You hear me? Yes. Pai. That spirit is the one that is affecting your church not to grow. Esse espírito é que está a prejudicar a sua igreja para não crescer. Help me, man of God. Help me, Father. Help me. Jesus will help you. Thank you. That's why I'm praying for you. Thank you. Understand? Thank you. So now the spirit, it works against you. Esse espírito trabalhava contra seu sucesso. So it needs you to go down. You humble yourself. Isso requer com que você se humilhe mais. When that spirit Thank is you. on you, you don't humble yourself. Por quando aquele espírito em si, você não consegue se humilhar. True. Huh? Is it true? Yes, because I'm seeing you surrounded with people who are praising you. Porque vejo você cercado por pessoas que te elogiam muito. Is it true? Is it true? Huh? Is it true? And those people are operating in this spirit to pull you down. Essas pessoas estão sendo usadas por esse espírito para te abaixar. So today we are breaking the spirit of pride. You are free. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle J.B. and Prophetess T. Imakaninisa. And with me here today is my brother, who was located during the service by the Apostle who ministered upon his life. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Meu nome, sou Apostle Yassin Augusto Matimbi. Vivo eh, na cidade de Maputo, venho eh, do, de Moçambique. Uh, my name is Yassin Augusto. I live in Maputo City and I come from Mozambique. I'm an apostle. Sir, today during the service, the apostle located you and he ministered upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us in details what he said to you and please confirm it. Hoje, durante o culto, o apóstolo localizou Eh, pode nos dar os detalhes daquilo que ele falou na profecia acerca da sua vida? Sim, um, eu estive cá eh, no serviço do, de quarta-feira hoje. O apóstolo veio, orou por mim e deu-me uma profecia que há um espírito do meu pai que veio para mim e está a lutar contra o meu ministério, é por isso que não há progresso. E me deu também a segunda profecia que tem a ver com as pessoas que estão, eh, que, que estão ao meu redor, que esses me elogiam muito e é isso que faz com que eu não me humilhe mais. Essas profecias eu confirmo, é verdade e acredito que recebi a libertação acerca disso. Obrigado. Yes, today during this Wednesday service, uh, the apostle yes located me i do confirm and he gave me uh, a prophecy concerning my life uh, the first issue the apostle he approached was the issue of pride which he said that was the spirit of his forefathers which was troubling him and that spirit was operating through people around him and these people used to praise him and that would increase the pride in him so I think and I believe that this prophecy uh, brought deliverance in my life. Amen. Thank you. So would you kindly please elaborate on what the men of God prophesied to you about? 
Uh, podes, por favor, nos dar mais detalhes, falar acerca daquilo que ele falou acerca da sua vida? Bom, uh, quando fala, por exemplo, da, das pessoas que me cercam, que me elogiam, uh, certamente que, como líder, tem pessoas que trabalham conosco, então sempre, nunca criticaram-me, sempre elogiaram o trabalho que eu faço e tudo quanto eu faço no meu ministério. Então, eu creio que seja talvez por isso que, em algum momento, pode influenciar muito na minha vida para eu me achar, talvez, um super-homem. Mas acredito que, depois desta revelação, eu irei dar atenção a esse lado e agradeço a Deus por essa revelação. Muito obrigado. Sim, yes, uh, em detalhes, o uh, apóstolo falou sobre as pessoas que me surrounding me uh, em termos de aumentar a pride in my life. Uh, pointing that the people, they never criticized me even seeing something wrong. So that issue uh, brought problems in my life. But I believe this is the last bus stop. Thank you. So, so quero também confirmar a segunda profecia nesse caso, um, acerca do, do espírito que foi localizado. Na verdade, o meu ministério cresceu muito, só que depois houve muitos problemas e começou a, a reduzir, né, a cair. Um, mas depois de eu estar aqui, porque hoje não é a primeira vez que eu venho cá uh, ao encontro do apóstolo Gibi, depois dele orar por mim, um, eu vi mudanças, uh, comecei a ver coisas já acontecer. Recordo que o profeta Andris localizou-me na sessão um por um que eu estive cá com ele, ele falou acerca das minhas finanças e nessa altura me, era muito desafiador mesmo para a alimentação em casa. Mas depois daquela libertação e profecia do profeta Andris, é, eu posso dizer que Deus tem me favorecido financeiramente. Estou muito satisfeito e agradeço a Deus pela libertação e pela oração e impactação que recebi do profeta Andris. Da outra vez também estive aqui. E yes, this is not my first time uh, to come here. Uh, and I want to confirm the second prophecy that the apostle gave to me as, uh, uh, about the church, that the church was reducing in terms of membership. Uh, that's true. Uh, at some point, the church was growing, but because of this spirit, the, we got to a certain extent where the people, they began to leave the church. So, and... Uh, What the prophet prophesied the first time I was here in Charis, uh, he prayed for me because I was struggling financially and the church was not growing. Then I left here, I went back home. Uh, while I was there, I saw uh, the fruits of what the prophet prophesied. Really the church, uh, at some point it grew and I saw a financial breakthrough. And I believe this is a new page being opening in my life. And I thank God for the impartation, the blessing, and the breakthrough that I received here. Reza, I'm praying for pe uh, pastors of Moza. You people here, because you came, I'm praying for you, for God to, <coughs> to anoint you. Sarah. You must be very careful of spirit of lust. Yes. Eh? Yes, you it's true. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, I know. Because it's following you. It's true. Uh, and then now it makes you to look around. It's true. It's yes. true. Come on. It's the spirit of lust. Come. It's the one that is hindering your gift. Yes. Yeah. You are free. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ to viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday life service under the leadership of Apostle J.B. and Prophetess T. Ima Gananisa. And with me here today is my brother who was located during the service by the Apostle who ministered upon his life. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Yes, uh, my name is Ara J. Mashiana. I come from Mozambique, Maputo. Thank you. The man of God today located you and he spoke upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us in details what he said and please confirm it. Yes, uh, going direct to the point, uh, the man of God spoke about 
a certain issue which was blocking my gift which is the spirit of lust so this is what the man of god mentioned in my life thank you and are you aware of what the man of god said today if you are kindly please elaborate are you aware of the spirit if yes kindly please elaborate okay are you aware of what the man of god spoke to you about if you do if you are rather kindly please elaborate yes uh that's true and i'm aware i traced this spirit uh while i was a teenager uh during the holidays we used to be sent by uh, our parents to spend our holidays in our grandparents house and there i used to see my uncles who were having a lot of girlfriends they would go out and that influenced me since since i was a teenager and uh, in 2019 i came here and the man of god prayed for me and uh, i felt myself released though he didn't mention this issue uh, at the first time i came but uh, uh, these days i think uh, f- two years from t- it, it has two years now i've been troubled by the spirit i have prayed uh, to cancel the spirit but even during the dream sometimes i used to see some woman seducing me in the dream but i thank god today the man of god he located me and uh, he delivered me and he spoke a word that today it's over Amen. so i believe and i'm leaving this place carrying this word that today it's all over thank you and how has what the man of god spoke to you about been affecting you Yes, uh at first uh it it has affected me in uh, many ways uh most especially during the dream time uh because I believe the dream time is a special time for us to have revelations but instead of that I used to have a uh, nightmares uh some women coming into my dream so whenever I think anyone has I nant me when he wakes up I think he wakes up with his spirit weather out but today I thank God uh this is my last bus stop I think from today I'm experiencing a new uh cloud in my life of God's favor upon me and uh, I believe because he said this was the blockage so I believe it's all over and the way has been paved for me to walk Thank you. From this time you will prosper. Thank you. Thank you. Minister, God will give you people who stand with you. Thank you. This week I see you in dream this week. You saw me? Yes, a deliverer. Congratulations you are here. God bless. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. To viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophet T. E. Makanenisa. And with me here today is my father, who was located during the service by the apostle who ministered upon his life. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Jeremiah Janton Tivan. So, Prophet Vinde Maputo. My name I'm uh, Jeremias Antonio Tivani. I'm from Maputo and I'm a prophet. Sir, today during the service, the apostle located you when he spoke upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us in details what he said and please confirm it. No culto do eh o profeta o apóstolo JB Macananes te localizou e te deu uma profecia. Poderias por favor nos dizer em detalhes o que que ele te disse no meio da profecia? Muito obrigado. Eu creio que Deus é bom. Pela primeira, não é pela primeira vez que eu estou aqui. Desde que já há 10 anos sempre venho para o ministério do profeta. E já tive muitas profecias, mas hoje recebi a profecia que era o mais que me que me que me perturbava na minha vida acerca das finanças, progresso do ministério, progresso da minha vida. É, acho que é, 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 a profecia foi direito para aquilo que eu veio, nem aquilo que estava acontecendo na minha vida. 
Okay, he said that uh, he has been coming to this ministry for long. He's, uh, he's uh, like a son in this house because he has been some some ten times coming to this place. And uh, but today the prophecy comes just straight to the point uh, with a man of God because he was uh, he had the issue of financial uh, breakthrough. His life financially was not okay. And the in, the in the ministry, things were not way, working well. So today, the man of God just came straight to the point and they prophesied to him about the breakthrough that is about to come to his life, to his ministry, and things are going to change. So how long have you been experiencing stagnation in ministry, and how has that affected you? Há quanto tempo tens experimentado essa estagnação ministerial e financeira? E há quanto tempo isso tem te afetado? Ou como é que isso tem te afetado na vida? Sim, é assim. E isto é... Posso dizer que já há muito tempo é, sempre houve muitas queras na, 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 na parte financeira é, da, 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 do, do ministério, tanto da minha vida. Sempre fui, fui o homem do, dos negócios. É, que faço no gosto de até de carros, muita coisa que já fiz, no, muitos negócios, mas sempre estou lutando, estava lutando com esse espírito de, 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 de retrocesso nas coisas que eu faço. Então, é muito tempo mesmo, nem posso contar, porque isso, sempre a minha vida foi de guerra na área, na, na, na área de, das finanças, então não, não posso calcular, mas desde o início até agora eu luto. E tento sempre, Deus tem me protegido. Ok, say that uh, he has been a long time struggling in his financial life. Uh, because instead of being a, a prophet, he's a businessman. He deals with uh, cars, sells car. But even though he was struggling to, to, to have a breakthrough in his financial uh, and uh, it was like his life is sometimes up and down and up and down and up and down and um, but uh, today according to the man of God who came straight to the point because that was the issue that was preoccupying him and made him to come to this place so today the man of God just came to the point about his financial and he prophesied that he sees a breakthrough coming and the end of this struggle so uh, precisely, you can't say how long, but it has been long time struggling in his financial breakthrough. Yeah. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Here I am a pastor. I, we are here as a pastor of Mozambique. My, I myself, my name is uh, Pastor Shisumba from Charis Missionary Church. Here I have a pastor of other church. Is a pastor Mashiani. This one is the Apostle Sherson. Uh, that one is Apostle Yasini, and then that one is a Prophet Jeremiah. My name is Apostle Jerson Darakub. I'm here in Charis Ministry in South Africa uh, to see Apostle GB Makananis. Uh, uh, I'm here to, to invite all the men of God, the pastors, the ministers in Mozambique, because the men of God is coming in Mozambique, Maputo, to see all the ministers, to see all the men of God. As you can see here, we are here as a team from Mozambique. We are here prophets, apostles, and pastors from different churches. But we came here because the man of God is coming to Mozambique. People of Mozambique, it's a great joy. It's a great joy to receive this great man of God. He's coming for us this time. He's coming from Maputo. He's coming from Mozambique. So I'm inviting you to be a part of this team of organizing He's coming. The man of God is not coming to my church, doesn't come to any church. He's coming for Mozambique to meet all the men of God. So I want to invite you, men of God, ministers of God, to come and join us in this organizing team for the coming of the man of God. If you want to join us to this organizing team, you can call to the number that is passing to the, to the screen of your television. You can come to this number. We are ready to cooperate together for the coming of the man of God because he's coming for the country. May God bless you and let us be united for the coming of this great man of God. God bless you. Amen. <laughs>